What's up, guys? So today I'm going to go over my new gun. If we have time, I'll go over the other accessory. This one is... Yeah. It's a WeTech Gas Blowback 1911. I got it through a trade um, Saturday. I uh, traded a Wells Fire Sniper for it. And uh, it's not a bad little gun. Today I'm going to go over just what I've learned about the gun. Um, I don't have its manual, so I don't know anything exact about it. But I'm going to tell you what I did find out, and kind of go over taking it apart and cleaning it, and you know, just in case some of you guys might have one of these and aren't entirely sure how to take it apart. I'm going to show you how to take it apart. Now this is my first gas blowback pistol. My first gas blue bag gun in general. I've shot a couple and they're really nice. This one is the uh, government issue uh, model. It's black with brown polymer on the handle, brown uh, it's plastic on the handle. Um, other than that, the entire body is metal. Hammer is metal, trigger is metal, upper receiver is metal, lower receiver is metal. On the plastic are these brown marks here and here. That's it. The rest of it is metal. I love it. Because it means you can't break it. Well, you can, but it takes a lot to do. Anyway, so, to take it apart, well, I'll tell you about it when I'm taking it apart. You take the safety off and slide it back. Okay? You don't slide it in the way you can lock it in place. Just before that, there's a small half circle, a little half circle etched into the slide. You line it up with the body pin, and you push it up. When you have it out far enough, you'll hear a click to take the body pin, and the gun will stay like that. It has a uh, 300 to 320, 310 FPS. Um, has a came with a 15 round magazine. Now you just you know that Lord, take it apart. Um, its accuracy is about 160 feet. Pretty good accuracy for a pistol, but I'm going to modify it. Yeah. So you uh, with this, this is where all your stuff is. You take the spring out. Kind of out of the Put this little piece of spring sits in. Kind of slide it right out loop. This part here on the very end has some teeth on it. And over to one side. Come on, get out of there. I'm just gonna pull it out. Same. That will allow you to do this. Bam! To do that, you just moist it with like this. Like that. Still in place. Force by the don't do that. Um, it's just kind of snapped onto the air nozzle. If you take your thumb on the hop up and just kind of nudge it a little bit, it'll pop off the air nozzle. And you just help work it out. Uh, you clean the barrel like you would an AEG barrel with your cleaning rod. This was filthy when I got it, when I cleaned it yesterday. Um, Wipe down the slide here, here. Wipe down the inside where the barrel sits for the microfiber towel. The slide you can get with Q-tips, I find work really good. And then the slide on the pistol. Here, 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 and here. Also the Q-tips. Um, the rest of the gun, however, you can get to with the microfiber towel. Like down in here, you can get the fiber towel around the trigger, inside the magwell. You gotta get with a, I say I just shoot it from the magwell. Trying to help keep some dirt out of there. Um, your air nozzle, you wanna check to make sure your air nozzle, let's see, right, 
And the light piece right here. That's sticking out. If you want to take it, there's a spot right about there, a hole there. If you blow inside that and you don't feel any air coming out of this piece, your air and all is jammed out. There's something clogged it up. Mine is clean, however. You just kind of blow in a little bit and you feel the air come out of it. Just Much clean. And then to reassemble, after you wipe everything down, you take the barrel, hold the gun upside down, you right side up, hold it upside down, flip over. That way it's trying to stick all that back in there like that, and it through a little bit. And it just clicks onto the air nozzle. You can feel it click. Alright. Take this piece with the T, stick it on over the outer barrel, and turn it where the T faces the circle here. Take this piece, this is where the spring sits, and slide it back in its place, which you've been lined up real good. Take the spring, stick it back in there. That just kind of slides in there, and it actually sits on the hot look right here. It has a little lid right here for it. It sits right on the hot look. So line that on there really good. Make sure it's on there real good. Take the two pieces. Line up the slides. Back to go. Slide it back. Hold it back with your thumb, it makes it easier. Take your body pin, let's see where the half circle, line up with the line, line up the half circle with the hole. It's a big square hole. The body pin, stick it through the little circular hole. Push it back together, get your click in place. And it still locks in place. Push it up, push the, uh, the slide catch up, where it holds the slide in place, like that. And switch your thumb. Just Hit it, push the slide back, cock the hammer. And to make sure it still works right, we're going to work the slide a little bit. Slide it back and forth a little bit. Make sure it's still nice and smooth. Alright, there it is, back together. It's not a bad gun for $110. Great quality, even though mine is a little used, it's still a really good quality. And, uh, guys, be safe. Don't break it. Have fun.